What's going on everybody? Today I got something special to introduce to you and that is this 1992 Yamaha XJ600 Seika 2. It's a mouthful, but this is the new project on the channel. It hasn't run for about 10 years and because of that it needs just about everything. This bike is fairly similar in engineering design to the FZ6. It's a four cylinder and although this is carbureted so it's got four carbs for its four cylinders, it's a 600. It's kind of sport touring, like it's not fully bent over like a sport bike and it was meant to be that sporty handling with a bit more comfort back in the 90s. Because of those reasons, it being a sport touring kind of bike, I think I'll quite enjoy it once it's up and running. But to get it there, it needs a lot of work. Just like any bike that sat for the last 10 years, it's got rust in the gas tank, it's got a seized rear caliper we're going to be rebuilding, the carbs, well, just aren't right, they're not great. The clutch makes a clattering noise when you get it onto idle. I have had this running, not through the gas tank, just with syringe of fuel into the fuel lines and to fill up the carburetors, and it has idled, but when it does get low in the RPM, it clatters away, and it makes kind of a bad, bad noise. So we're gonna find that out. It's missing the front fairing, which is disappointing because those are pretty expensive and hard to find, so I'll be searching for one of those. If any one of you got one for this bike, Send me a message on Instagram, at FreeHeadGaskets. I'll be sure to get back to you. Hopefully we can work something out, but I'm looking for a new front fairing. Basically, I'm gonna show you how to service everything on this bike because as a bike that's been sitting for 10 years, it needs everything. I hope we can get it running by the end of the summer and actually legit on the road comfortably and reliably. Key point, reliably. I don't know, these carbs are gonna have something to say about that, but hopefully we can get it running. I mean, it should be good. Let me show you a bit more about the details of what's going on with this bike here. It's not in the best of shape. <laughs> The chain and sprocket looks like it sat at the bottom of the ocean for t those 10 years, so that'll need replacing immediately. The front of the bike looks kind of ugly without the fairing, so I'm either going to do a naked conversion or try and find the fairing. I think this thing looks pretty sweet with the original fairing, so hopefully we can find that and get it in the bike. It's got all this wiring exposed, not so hot. Under the fuel tank, you've got this non-OEM fuel filter just to keep things running. I couldn't find the original fuel filter, so I just had to get one that works. No plastic connector on your fuel petcocks, so you just gotta turn it with some pliers. And loose wires. Of course, a project bike wouldn't be complete without some messy wiring, so hoping to find out where this goes and make this work properly. Otherwise, the bike does run right now, so it's not essential, obviously. Carbs under here need a good clean both outside and inside. Both the tires have some seriously bad dry rot, so those need replacing. The exhaust pipes have some mismatched hardware going on here, and uh, hoping to remedy that with some OEM parts. Also gonna clean up the headers, make this thing look shiny new, because I think those headers would look sick if they weren't covered in rust and corrosion. Also gonna take some time and clean up the front of this bike here to make it just look like it hasn't been sitting outside for a long time. And the piece de resistance is the gas tank, yikes. This thing looks absolutely awful. That's just the tip of the iceberg. The rest you can see here. It's real bad inside there. So we're gonna fix that and make this bike run real good. The rear brake is already removed so that I can rebuild it. The rear muffler here has had a patch job done, not in the best of ways, but it works, keeps the exhaust gases in. Of course, the rear passenger peg doesn't stay up like it should, so hopefully we can fix that. Lots of just little things with an old, old bike. Suspension bolts so rusty they'll probably just disintegrate as soon as you put a wrench on them. So as you can see, I've got my work cut out for me on this XJ600. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you're excited for this restoration. It's something to change up the channel a little bit, do something new. As always, smash the like and subscribe button down below because you know we got lots of motorcycle content coming to you on the regular. Thanks for watching and as always, have a good day.